Getting started with Una Create. In this video, we'll show you the basics of how to configure the software, create subtitles, and how to do spotting. First, let's go over the main elements of our workspace. On the right is the subtitle editor. The video preview is on the left. The large clock indicates your current video time. The toolbar at the top includes frequently used commands. The timeline shows the audio waveform and shot changes. There are two modes, work and review. For transcribing or spotting, use work mode. In review mode, you'll be able to play your subtitles synchronized with the video. Let's open the tool and define some basic project settings. When you open a new project, the settings preset can be selected from the drop-down list. These settings represent technical requirements for your subtitles. You can save different presets for each client, so you don't need to change the settings every time. We'll start by going over basic parameters. There are several compatibility modes, open subtitles, closed captions, and teletext. We'll cover them in a separate video. For now, let's keep the open mode. Select the primary language of your subtitles. My project is in English. I'll keep the default font and I want my subtitles horizontally aligned to the center. The display tab is mostly related to image exports. So let's have a look at the screen tab. Here you choose the maximum number of characters per line. For example, 37. To add line breaks after 37 characters, check Auto Break Line. This field sets the maximum number of lines per subtitle. Typically, it's not more than two. In the Video tab, you can choose the video format and the frame rate. If you create subtitles compatible with multiple platforms, leave the video format with HD 1080. Set the frame rate of your video. The Reading Speed tab lets you choose between characters per second or words per minute. Finally, in the Cues tab, you can define how many frames you want to have as a gap between consecutive subtitles. Two frames is the most common requirement. You can also decide on the minimum and maximum duration of a subtitle. I'll set the minimum duration to one second and the maximum to seven seconds. You can also define how many frames before a shot change your subtitle should end and how many frames after a shot change a new subtitle can begin. We'll cover the rest of the settings in a separate video. To save it as a preset, press Save As, give it a name, and click Save. Let's apply our settings. To open a video, go to Media, open an audio video file, and browse your computer for a video file. You can also paste a URL, for example, from YouTube. In the Pro version, if you want to generate video shot changes, make sure this option is switched on. To view and edit your hotkeys, go to the Hotkeys menu. If you're working on a laptop, select the preset called Laptop. Use the search field to find a hotkey you're looking for. You can also save personal hotkeys. In the Laptop Hotkeys preset, to play the video, press Control down arrow. The same key to pause. Control left to jump back one second. Control right to jump one second forward. To move one frame forward, press Control shift right. Or Control shift left to move one frame backwards. Now that we're familiar with basic video controls, Let's start subtitling. There are a few methods to time subtitles, so you need to discover what works best for you. Let's start with separate in and out keys. Play the video and pause when you think the first subtitle should appear. Press opening bracket to define the in cue of the subtitle. Then play the video up to where the subtitle should end and pause. Mob hits. Not at this time. Press closing bracket to set the out cue. Type in your text. 
as you can see, we have the first timed subtitle. Hit enter to open another subtitle. Play the video and pause it when the dialogue starts. One of these. Set the next in queue. One of these guys is a school teacher. And out. Another approach is while playing the video, press and hold down a special hotkey to set the in queue and then release it to set the out queue. In settings, user configuration, timing, make sure that in out hotkey is set to hold and release. This method assumes that you already have typed or imported your text. My hotkey is backslash. Press the key to set the in queue and hold it as long as the subtitle should stay on the screen. Releasing the key will define the out cue. Mob hits, not at this time. One of these guys is a school teacher. Let's go over a few basic editing commands. To move a word to the next line, press Shift Enter. Shift Backspace to move a word to the previous line. Sometimes you need to split a subtitle. Place your cursor where you want to split your text and press Control Enter. To merge two subtitles, go to the first one and press Control Backspace. You can also use regular commands such as copy, cut, paste, and undo. You'll find all these shortcuts in the hotkeys menu. Now make sure you haven't got any errors. Put your cursor on the error icon to view an explanation of the problem. For example, duration is less than one second. Let's extend the duration of this subtitle. To export your subtitles, go to Import Export, select Export File, and choose the format you require. For more information, see our video how to export a subtitle file. Your project is automatically saved every two minutes, but you can also save manually by pressing the Save hotkey. To restore an earlier version of your project, go to the Project menu, Restore Backup, and select the version you want to restore. Now that you know how to subtitle, go ahead and give it a try.